Hi guys, my name is Kristina Mirkovic. My e-school is methodomirkovic.com and um, this session on YouTube uh, is dedicated to all moms and dads who follow actually their kids in violin studies on a daily basis. And uh, why I do this violin session? Because um, uh, if you are a small kid and you have from 5 to 9, 10 years old, you really love the violin but you see once a week your teacher, uh, the stuff the teacher explains you actually are not enough for you to penetrate profoundly the violin score, to have a control over your movements and uh, you actually do not feel uh, that you give the, the, the most of yourself that you could. So, there some, uh, I mean, comes my violin session. And uh, what parents uh, have to do with this? Well, parents could increase a lot. The kid needs them in order to increase a child's self-awareness in a violin daily progress. Only from there starts self-confidence, self-enthusiasm and progressing, real, real progressing, self-aware progressing. How it starts? Well, if kid uh, doesn't just, you know, like uh, do work, uh, hand work, and uh, that would be that more or less. But there is someone who repeats to him on a daily level hundreds of thousands of times the same information from how to convert exact sign from the score into the movement, each sign, how to convert in exact movement, each uh, segment of that puzzle repeated hundreds of thousands of times produce self-awareness, synapses and there it seems that someone plays spontaneously. Um, it is, but first the brain needs to be trained. Well, uh, next thing to, to we go further, uh, we continue to connect, how to connect, fingers with the nose, fingers of the left hands, uh, with the notes, two things always to remember the child. First is to know the scale, of course, without the scale we won't get anywhere. And the second is to actually uh, know where to fall down with the finger. So, third finger on the D string is uh, the E scale. In the scale note after the E, first finger on the scotch, after E we have F sharp, second finger on the scotch, after F sharp we have G in the scale for the uh, ring finger, third finger. We do not need any more scotch. Why? Because uh, third finger orients itself uh, um, thanks to the second finger because it falls down attached to the second finger. Means that uh, it makes it easier for the third finger for now in this finger combination. But we will just limitate ourselves on this finger combination because this is usually most of the times the first combination the child adopts in a violin study and uh, so scale seems quite easy if you repeat it hundreds of times and where to fall down seems quite clear but kids usually you know slide up and down so please be exact in repeating it to them the fingers needs to obtain their fixed placements in order to memorize those. We do not have fixed placements, so we have to create them in our ears and mind and body. Said so, fingers always fall down one after another and are taken off from the string one after another, never in the crowd, up or down, or up and down like, like I don't know, mosquitoes that are falling around, no. Everything is in order, in order to have order in our mind, so let's go for it. D. Stop the bow. Why? To make fall down finger on string. E. Stop the bow in order to make fall down F sharp on the string. Stop the bow in order to make fall G, third finger on the string. Stop the bow in order to take off the third finger G from the string. Stop the bow in order to take off. F sharp from the string. Stop the bow in order to take off E from the string. Stop the bow. Stop the bow. Stop the bow. 
Remember also to remind the kid to look for the road or the white scotch tape which permit to the kid to eliminate these also, I also told this in the previous sessions, the difficulty of maintaining the parallelity between the bow direction and the bridge. So if you want to play actually, really play and uh, feel yourself or feel your kid or, and also have more indications without leaving a space for any doubt, um, watching a simultaneously score, video explanation and originally written music for each exercise, please do visit my violin web school methodomirkovic.com or just subscribe to my violin channel here below methodomirkovic or please do not hesitate to ask me anything you think that could actually increase self-awareness of your kid in a young age and that could boost his or her enthusiasm. Thank you and see ya!